Gillian, it's nice to see you again. How are you today? <laughs> nice to see you. I really like your poster back there. Is it all DC? Uh, is it the Justice League? Is that it is Justice League. League, yep. Great. John, I've actually never uh, met you, but I've been a big admirer of your work for a very long time. Um, saw you in Spring Awakening way back when and love you in Short Term 12. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. No problem. Um, it's so, been a reminder for me of all the amazing movies that John is in and all his Broadway career. <laughs> yeah, but come on. I've, ta I've talked to you multiple times already. I loved you in love. We talked about that, how much I love that. Love, Thank love. you, but I can't Keep sing and John can sing. So he has that on me forever. Well, you sang in that one episode of Community. Would you call that singing? <laughs> Vocalizing. I vocalized. Well, um, I really enjoyed the hell out of this movie. I thought it was a blast. Did either of you see the short film before signing on to the project? I did. Yeah, that was the kind of the, that was my introduction to it was, you know, my, my agent sent everything over at once. So I had this the feature script and the short and I, I, don't, I just impulsively clicked on the YouTube link to watch the short and then I, I got sucked into it, but I had to keep pausing it. I watched it in like four to five installments, even though it's only like six minutes long. Uh, because I kept getting too freaked out and I was too scared. And then I was just so blown away with what the short accomplished in that short amount of time. And then I read the feature and was so blown away with the way that Jacob had expanded into this family story. Uh, you know, you only get this anonymous guy in a, in a parking lot attendant booth in the short, and then you get this rich story with this family. So that, that made me want to, want to jump into it. Yeah. And now I, I'm feeling retroactively embarrassed because I invited Jacob to a screening of a short film I directed, um, right before we started shooting it wasn't nearly as good as the one he made so now i'm like oh okay it's made as good of a short film as jacob uh what was it like for both of you to uh to play parents i i've done a lot of nannying and babysitting which yes does you not have approximate parenthood um but i there are a lot of uh they're you know they're now adults um but kids that I feel a very strong connection to, and I'm very happy to still be in regular touch with them. So that's, I guess, the closest I've ever come to approximating parenthood, but I know it, it's nothing like parenthood. Yeah. I, I really related to my, my, um, the fact that my character was so bad at it, uh, because I, I feel that that's how I would be. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, you know, Marty is this guy who's struggling, you know, to, to, to rise to his occasions, you know, uh, was kind of heartbreaking to me. Um, but I honestly felt like I was letting Eji, my, the, you know, the young actor, so talented, who plays my son, I was kind of letting him lead me through, uh, through the filming because he's such a pro. Yeah, um, I, I think he did such a terrific job uh, in this movie. And uh, I was telling uh, Jacob that um, I honestly believed he was on the spectrum watching this. He was that good. Oh, wow. That I actually like Googled right afterwards. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is the kid from Marriage Story. <laughs> um, yeah. How much research did you guys have to do in order to, you know, play parents of someone dealing with autism? Well, Jacob sent over some materials because J Jacob's, uh, our, our writer director, Jacob Chase, his wife uh, works with a lot of uh, children on the spectrum. And I, I, I had a very peripheral and kind of uh, base relationship with what that would be like. But Jacob sent over a bunch of materials kind of via his wife. And I, we didn't do any, I didn't do any hands-on research, but just reading that was um, was very eye-opening and humbling. And it kind of got me accustomed to uh you know, what it's like to work in the day to day with a child on the spectrum. And what was your favorite aspect of doing a horror movie for both of you? I know, I know you've done some before, but what's your favorite aspect of doing a horror movie? I like seeing all the little tricks and details that um, directors and cinematographers and production designers employ um, in a film like this. And um as we shot the film, I started to pick up on more and more all the, the subtle things that Jacob was doing. Um, and it really made me appreciate him and his storytelling ability. And um, I also feel like he, in addition to, you know, having the, the puppets, you had a practical monster instead of having a CGI monster, he would try to do long takes and have these sort of reveals and scares um, within one take, which I really respected uh, his filmmaking. 
Great. Thank you so very much. You, you both were excellent in the film, and I look forward to talking to you both again in the future. Take care. Great to see you, Scott. Thank see you, you later. Scott. Thank you. Bye-bye.